My child, this message is not one of suggestion or gentle prompting. It is a divine command, a call that must be answered before the dawn breaks again. Hear me now with your heart wide open, for what I am about to tell you is of utmost importance. You cannot afford to turn away or delay any longer. The time has come for you to act, to respond, to trust, and to obey my words fully. The path before you requires faith, not hesitation, obedience, not excuses, surrender, not control. This is my urgent call to your heart. My child, if this message bright in your day, hit that like button. You have been carrying burdens that were never yours to bear. The worries that swirl in your mind, the doubts that eat away at your peace, and the fears that keep you awake at night, they have been with you far too long. My child, I am the one who holds the stars in place, the one who spoke the universe into existence with a word. Do you not think I can handle your life? Do you not know that I am in control of every detail, every circumstance, every situation you face? I am calling you to trust me, not with some things, but with everything. Trust me with your future, your relationships, your health, your finances, your dreams, your failures, and your fears. I see what you cannot see. I know what you do not know. My thoughts are higher than your thoughts, and my ways are higher than your ways. You cannot grasp the full picture, but I can. I have already gone before you, preparing a way where there seems to be none. Like a lighthouse guiding ships safely to shore through the darkest storms, I am here to guide you through the uncertainties of life. What you must let go of your need to control the outcome. The tighter you hold on to your plans, the more you will struggle. Surrender them to me, and I will give you peace that surpasses understanding. You cannot carry this weight alone, but I never intended for you to. Trust in me with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Before tomorrow comes, you must place your complete trust in me, or the burdens will only grow heavier. You have been waiting for clarity, for signs, for confirmation, but I am waiting for your obedience. I have already spoken to you. I have already revealed my will, but you have hesitated. You have delayed, thinking you need more time, more certainty, more security. My child, I am telling you now, obedience cannot wait. If you want to walk in the fullness of the life I have for you, you must obey my commands, not in part, but in full. Partial obedience is still disobedience. You cannot pick and choose which parts of my will you will follow. When I call you, I call you to complete surrender, to follow me wherever I lead. You cannot cling to the comfort of the familiar while stepping into the unknown at the same time. The two cannot coexist. If you want to see doors open, if you want to experience the blessings I have prepared for you, you must take the step of obedience today, not tomorrow, not next week, but today. Let this light of encouragement shine. Share this video with someone who needs to feel God's love and strength. When the Israelites stood at the edge of the Red Sea, they were surrounded by danger, an army behind them and the waters in front of them but I told them to move forward. It was only when they obeyed, when they took that step of faith, that the waters parted. My child, your miracle, your breakthrough, your victory, it lies on the other side of your obedience. You must move forward. I will not show you every step of the journey at once, but I will guide your feet with each step you take in faith. Fear has gripped your heart for too long. It has whispered lies into your ear, convincing you that you are not enough, that you will fail, that you are alone. But those lies are not from me. I did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Fear is a thief. It robs you of joy, peace, and purpose. It keeps you paralyzed, stuck in the same place, afraid to move forward, 
but I am calling you higher, and fear cannot go where I am leading you. You must let go of the fear that holds you back. It is not your companion, it is your enemy. It will tell you that the unknown is dangerous, that stepping out in faith is risky, that trusting me is foolish. But my child, the greatest risk is not trusting me. The greatest danger is staying where you are, allowing fear to dictate your steps instead of my voice. I am your refuge and your fortress. I will protect you. I will provide for you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Child of mine, step into the calling I have for you, to be a messenger of my grace. Your gift empowers the spread of my word to the nations. Join me in this work. Click the super thanks button, and my endless blessings will be yours. You cannot serve both fear and faith. One must be chosen, and the other must be cast aside. Choose faith. Choose to believe in my promises, to stand on my word, and to trust that I will do what I said I would do. Fear may try to rise up, but you have the authority to silence it in my name. Speak my truth over your life, and fear will flee. I am calling you to a life of boldness, courage, and confidence, not because of who you are, but because of who I am. I go before you, and I am with you every step of the way. You have been telling yourself that you will follow me more closely when the timing is right. You have said that someday you will fully surrender, that someday you will take the leap of faith, that someday you will obey the call I have placed on your life. But my child, someday is not promised. All you have is today, this moment, this opportunity. You cannot wait for perfect conditions, for everything to align exactly as you imagined. I am calling you now. Do not let procrastination steal your purpose. Do not let hesitation rob you of the blessings I have in store. The enemy will always give you reasons to delay, fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of the unknown. But I am telling you that the time is now. The door I have opened for you will not remain open forever. You must walk through it before it closes. The opportunities I have placed before you are not to be taken lightly. I am positioning you for something greater, but you must be willing to step into it. The world tells you that you have time, that you can wait, that there's no rush. But I tell you, my child, that the harvest is ripe, and the laborers are few. There is work to be done, and I am calling you to be a part of it. Do not waste the gifts, talents, and abilities I have placed within you. Use them now, for my glory, for my kingdom, for the purpose I created you to fulfill. The trials you have faced, the struggles you have endured, the tests that have come your way, they were not meant to break you, but to refine you. Like gold tested in the fire, I am purifying you, shaping you, molding you into the person I have called you to be. The process is not always easy, and at times it may feel overwhelming. But trust that I am doing a good work in you, and I will bring it to completion. You are being prepared for something greater than you can imagine. I am strengthening your faith, deepening your character, and teaching you to rely on me in ways you never have before. The pain, the disappointment, the waiting, it all serves a purpose. I do not waste anything in your life. What the enemy meant for evil, I will turn for good. The very thing that you thought would break you will become the testimony of my power and grace in your life. Do not resist the refining process. Do not try to shortcut the work I am doing in you. Trust that I know what is best for you. The fire may be intense, but it will not consume you. I am with you in the fire, just as I was with Shavrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You will come out of this season stronger, more resilient, and more equipped for the calling I have placed on your life. In all your striving, in all your pursuits, do not forget the greatest commandment I have given you to love one another as I have loved you. The world will know that you are mine by the way you love others. 
This love is not conditional. It is not selective, and it is not self-serving. It is a love that lays down its life for others, that forgives even when it is hard, and that gives even when it hurts. Child, if my words have brought you comfort, extend this gift to three souls who are in need of my grace today. I am calling you to be a light in the darkness, to reflect my love to a world that is lost and hurting. You cannot do this in your own strength, but my spirit within you will empower you to love in ways that go beyond your natural ability. Let go of bitterness, anger, and unforgiveness. These things only hinder the flow of my love in your life. Love deeply, love sacrificially, love unconditionally. This is the mark of true discipleship. Before tomorrow comes, examine your heart. Where have you withheld love? Where have you allowed offense to take root? I am calling you to forgive, to extend grace, and to be a vessel of my love to those around you. This is not optional. It is a command. If you truly love me, you will love others as I have loved you. My child, the time is drawing near. I am coming soon, and I will reward each one according to their works. The world may seem chaotic, uncertain, and filled with darkness, but do not lose heart. I have overcome the world, and my kingdom is advancing. You must live with eternity in mind, storing up treasures in heaven, not on earth. The things of this world are temporary, but what is done for my kingdom will last forever. Do not be distracted by the cares of this life. Keep your eyes fixed on me, the author and finisher of your faith. Live each day as if it were your last, not out of fear, but out of a desire to fulfill the purpose I have given you. Be faithful in the small things, and I will entrust you with greater things. Share the gospel, love your neighbor, serve those in need. Let your life be a reflection of my glory. I am coming soon, and my reward is with me. Be ready, my child. Let your lamp be filled with oil, and your heart be pure before me. The time is short, and the work is great. But I am with you, and I will sustain you until the end. This message is not one to be taken lightly. It is a divine command, a call to action, a plea for your heart. Do not delay. Trust me with everything. Obey my voice. Cast out fear. Act now. Allow me to refine you, and above all, love as I have loved you. Tomorrow is not promised, but my love for you is eternal. I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Now go, my child, and live out this command with all your heart. Spread this message of hope. Share this video with someone who may need a touch of grace today. Amen.